Morning, welcome to BOTB HQ in Parsons Green, South West London. It's Monday the 28th of January and we're here to judge last week's dream car and lifestyle competitions which are from the 21st to the 27th of January. Just before we start, I'd like to say congratulations once again to last week's winners. First of all, Derek Hasty, who won the Nissan GTR plus 20 grand. And in the lifestyle competition, Keeney Matcha, who won the Gold Tech Bundle. And now let's introduce Alex Brooks from Onside Law, who will oversee today's proceedings. My name's Alex Brooks from Onside Law, and I'll be overseeing the judging this morning. Firstly, I can confirm that the competition data has already been sent to the auditors, Wilkins Kennedy. I would now like to introduce today's judges and to ask them to pick the ball out of the hat to determine their seating position. Firstly, Mr. Peter Georgi. Good morning, my name is Peter Georgi. I am an AFA football and futsal referee, mentor, tutor, and observer. Six. Next, Gareth Deneen. Morning, Alex. Morning. Good morning, my name is Gareth Deneen. I'm a senior county referee and I appoint referees to various competitions throughout the London area. I have five. Matt Cannon. Morning, Alex. Good morning. Good morning. My name is Matt Cannon. I'm a senior county referee and active footballer. Three. Leo Donnellan. Hello. Good morning. My name is Leo Donnellan. I'm an ex-professional football player. I've been with Chelsea, Fulham, and Leighton Orient. Number two. Kieran Fitzgibbon. Good morning, Alex. Good morning. Hello. My name is Kieran Fitzgibbon. I've played football for more than 30 years and recently become a referee. I've got number four. And finally, Alan Goma. Good morning, Alex. Good morning, my name is Alan Goma. I'm an ex-professional footballer. I played for Paris Saint-Germain, Newcastle, and Fulham. The last one is number one. Okay, judges, please mark on the screen where you think the center of the ball should be. I will ask you to do this individually for a few minutes before justifying your position. I'll then ask you to all come to a panel decision on the central screen. Okay, Matt, could you please justify your positioning? Yeah, there's two players in shot. Uh, sorry, mine's the, the uh, red cross here. Two players in shot. Um, the player in green is sort of just on looking. He looks like he's running around the back of the blue player. The blue player's body is, is twisted, so he's waiting for the ball to come in. Um, and I looked at his eye line. I think he's looking slightly down, and this player's looking across, and I've got the centre of the ball where the red cross is. Thank you. Next, Kieran, could you please justify your positioning? Yeah, mine's the green cross here. Um, again, I think these two players are going towards the ball, but the ball's not close to them, otherwise they'd be much more tense and prepared for the ball to arrive. Um, I think this player is looking slightly downwards, not quite as far as Matt suggests, but I think he's looking slightly downwards in this direction. I've taken his as the main eye line. I think this player is just looking in the general direction. Thank you. Next, Gareth, could you please justify your positioning? Yeah, mine's the blue cross here. Uh, the eye line from the player in the green white shirt, I th his eye line is looking downwards, so I just think he's looking at the back of the uh, player in blue. So we're now looking at the player in the, in the blue shirt. I think his eye line is pretty much horizontal, uh, and then it's a question of judging how close it is to him. Now the way his body's twisted and the way he's looking for it, I think he's going to open up, probably chest the ball down, so I think it's dropping in this particular area, and that's why I put it closer to him. Okay, thank you. Next, Peter. Could you please justify your positioning? Yeah, mine's the orange cross, uh, which is there. Uh, in agreement uh, that with the the eye line of, of this blue player across there. Again, I think the ball is in here rather than on on the screen itself out here. Uh, and what I've also done is taken this guy here. He's taller, so he looks like he's looking down. But I think it's at the same. He is looking down, but he's, it is slightly lower than this guy's eye line there. So that's where I put uh, the centre of the ball. Okay. Thank you very much. Next, Leo, could you please justify your positioning? Mine is the grey cross. There's two players in shot. This player is kind of marking this player. He's behind him. Uh, there's a bit of distance between them, so I think the ball is still coming into them. This player also, who I believe is going to receive the ball, he looks very relaxed to me, so I think there's a bit of distance again before this ball comes to him. If you look at his eye line, I think he's looking quite far away. And this player with his eye line, I think he's looking in that direction. So that's why I've gone there. Thank you. And finally, Alan, could you please justify your positioning? Yeah, uh, my cross is the, the purple one. So, yeah, no, I, th I think the player in blue is looking, you know, quite horizontally. Um, 
I think the ball is coming from the, the left hand side. Um, the, it's slightly uh, in, the, in the foreground, and I think the, this player can see the ball also. He's, look, he's looking slightly downwards. Uh, looking at his body shape, I think he's going to twist and try maybe to control the ball with the chest. And yeah, I've, you know, in terms of distance, I think it's, you know, he needs a bit of time still to you know, uh, twist his body. So I think the ball yeah, should be you know, not too close to him. Um, so that's why you know, I put my cross there. Thank you very much. Judges, please now come to a panel decision on the central screen. For your reference, the larger white cross is the calculated average of the six individual selections. Right, well, Kieran's virtually spot on. Leo's bottom left and I'm top right, but we cancel each other out approximately. And if I take us out, it jumps. It doesn't move very much, does it? Yeah. Yeah. Right, this guy here, do we think he's looking? I think he's looking at the back of this guy's head. I don't think he's looking through him because the, the guy in blue to me is slightly in front, very slightly in front. And the ball's over here, as we say, yeah, but, but, but in the foreground. But playing football, I mean, I don't know, um, Anna maybe tell me differently in Leo, but I've never looked at the back of a player. I've always looked at the ball. You try and see the ball. You see the ball. Yeah, so so yeah, your, your first instinct trying. would be it to look at the ball. Yeah, but it depends on the player's moved in front of him at that time. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. But I think the ball is in the foreground yeah, slightly, just, so just right here, I, yeah. I think you can see the ball that playing with. Yeah. Well, there's three of us think it's more horizontal uh, uh, with the purple. Alain, uh, Peter and myself think it's more horizontal. So we, I think we need to go to this guy's eyes. Oh, you know, I thought we were very dark, down. isn't it? Very dark. Slightly down. Yeah. Slightly down. I think he's looking in front of us. Somebody said, I've never said, talking. He's almost preparing himself ready to control yeah. the ball coming in. Mm. He's sort of twisted for it and may sort of lay it off on his chest or so get himself in position. Let's put our line through the average, see how that looks. Alan, Peter, how do you feel about that? It's not, I mean, it's, it's, it's not that far off anyway. It, it's, it's, um, it's not a big difference, actually, though. The fact that the ball is in the foreground is, is going to be difficult to get. It's this, it's this uh, fellow's eye here that concerns me because I think yeah, that's. But equally, as Matt says, that could also work as well, couldn't it? See. It's almost like they're running and he's just sort of stopping to take the ball. Yeah. We're not sure what he's going to do with it. He could no. open up the chest it, but it's, it's, you know, he's got a fair bit of work to do on it. But he's clearly turning and sliding yeah. down, isn't he? Getting himself in position to do something. Okay. Uh, let's undo that line. That's the average at the moment. I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a good one if we, as I said, that by taking the, the first away, Leo and myself, and we take each other out, it just jumps slightly, but it's still there and thereabouts. Do we leave it there? Or I do you think, think so? I think, think, yeah. I think we leave it there. I think it's a good compromise. Leo, yeah, no, I think it's good. It makes sense. Happy Alan. Can you can you re remove them again? The, the two the two crosses. Use yeah, another shot sure. just to have a look. Just goes up slightly. Uh, it's it's for me, that's works. Yeah. You yeah. see, that, I, I'd be happy with that one because mm. it takes good consideration of my height, but again, I mean, it doesn't take consideration of Leo. That's if you think he's going to chest it, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. I think you should both stay in. I mean, personally, obviously, it drops so. it down a bit, but it also gives credence to where my am because Leo's on roughly yeah. the same line as yeah. me. I think yeah. that's quite important because yeah. the ball's out here. These are sort of all, you know, I think, yeah. in a narrow channel. That's a personal view. So. Leave it on the average, then? Yeah. Well, happy. Right. Yeah. That does help. Thank you, Peter. How's that from behind? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. 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 Okay, here we go. Thank you, judges. The coordinates selected are 565709. 
These coordinates will now be passed to Wilkins Kennedy to calculate the winner of the competition, and they will then inform BOTB. That concludes the judging process. Thank you.